Do you know why people sometimes call Corning, New York, the Crystal City? Well, all you have to do is take a look around at all this sparkling glass to see why. Exactly. That was the nickname a New York City reporter came up with when he came to do a story on the glass industry here. Between 1880 and the First World War, more cut glass was made in Corning than in just about any other place in North America. Dazzling, colorless glass cut in intricate patterns. This large punch bowl is a very fine example of brilliant cut glass. Why don't you look at the large photograph on the wall behind the case? And if you look over to the right, you'll see one of the glass cutters is very proudly displaying a punch bowl that is very, very similar to the one in the case. Those old cutting shops don't seem like they were the best places to work in. It looks kind of dirty and crowded. And yet, in those terrible surroundings, some exquisitely finished cut glass was produced day after day after day. You'll see that just about every single glass cutter there has posed for the photograph, holding something that he's been responsible for cutting. They must have been proud of their work. Those patterns are really amazing. So why does this kind of glass have so much sparkle to it? If you add a certain amount of lead oxide to your glass, it changes the angle at which light is bent through the glass, and that gives it a special sparkling, glittering quality, a little bit like diamonds. You're right. Maybe they should have named Corning the Diamond City instead. 